I have done MSc in food science from CCS Haryana Agriculture University. I have approximately 15 years of experience. My qualification exists in skilled migrant category food technologist. So can I apply through expression of interest? How much time will it take to get this visa? Direct migration is now ruled out. I just explained it to you. If you rewind back this uh, particular, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, live session of mine, I explained why direct migration is ruled out. I also have videos on my YouTube which says your direct migration is ruled out unless and until uh, you uh, re-study in New Zealand for uh, two years and have a master's or a PhD. That is rule one. Or you have skilled employment or an offer of skilled employment in New Zealand. So that's the other uh, the tick mark you need to get. Uh, plus, of course, you need to get 160 points from your age qualification, spouse qualification, work experience. It's great that you have a background in food technology and because food technologists, as you rightly pointed out, are in our long-term skills shortages list. So I would actually recommend that you come for a course in New Zealand and uh, uh, someone like you with so much of experience in food technology could possibly look at either a master's, a postgraduate diploma, or even a PhD in New Zealand. Um, that's what I would strongly recommend to you, Sanjay, because uh, you have the adequate uh, background and uh, experiences there. Your English is very good from the way you have framed your questions. I can see that your English is good. You also mentioned that you're going to write your IELTS. I would strongly recommend that you write your academic IELTS and not the general IELTS, because if you write the general IELTS and tomorrow, if you need to apply for PhD or a master's or a postgraduate diploma, they will not accept the general IELTS. You will need to uh, uh, write only the academic IELTS. So that's something else that you need to uh, uh, be uh, very aware of and otherwise uh, your kids you said are 12 and 8 so if you do come for a master's or a PhD and if your spouse accompanies you on a work visa so if you're doing a PhD your kids will automatically be eligible for education in New Zealand free education in New Zealand if you're not if you're not coming for a PhD if you're coming for a master's or a postgraduate diploma and if your wife is accompanying you uh, on a work visa, then by virtue of the fact that she is a work visa holder, the kids will still be able to get education. So overall, I would strongly recommend the education pathway because you're not present in New Zealand and you don't have skilled employment here. So you will not be able to apply for a direct resident visa. You can give it a shot. Uh, you can uh, you know, book a, a consultation with me. I'd be happy to do a paid consultation, assess and see how many points you're getting and, uh, and tell you what is the... But, I can tell you that even if you do get the 160 points, if you get the skilled migrant category job search visa, it's only for the individual. They will not let the family come. So you'll have to come here. You'll be under pressure within that one year to be able to find a job. So it's, I, I mean, I'm not ruling it out. I'm just saying it can be a little strenuous on you. So maybe not. Instead, come for a master's or a PhD and whole family can be here. You guys can come together. And if uh, you're doing a PhD, you will also be eligible to work full time. Your spouse will be eligible to work full time. And PhD also is uh, quite, uh, it's offered at domestic fees and not at uh, uh, international fees. A lot of advantages. So continue to speak to us, Sanjay. And at some point, we will connect. Either myself or our senior manager uh, uh, will connect and explain to you all the details.